Hello channel, welcome back everyone. Hope you're all well. Um a wee bit intended on doing this video last night, but been a wee bit sick the last couple of days, so not good under the weather. Um it's definitely not an iron deficiency from all the, the Guinness anyway, so maybe not gonna be a long video, but we'll we'll put some stuff out there. Um first thing I'm gonna do is go through and explain the Celtic predictions on play sharper. So yeah, it, Bit of a disappointing result against Feyenoord. Thought Celtic played pretty well first half and then just gave away a daft goal and then penalty seemed a bit soft but just all went a bit comedy cuts. So there we go. Um, Joe Hart, no real question there. Greg Taylor and Alistair Johnson. Um, tough fish game away from home. The, the, the advantage is no game midweek so I think Ro um, Rogers will be quite stubborn with his selections. Um, there's been some talk of maybe Bernabeu coming in, maybe Ralston coming in. I don't see it myself, but there we go. 8% is pretty strong still, I think. Um, scales, um, pretty nailed. I put Scales in Lager BLK at um, so a 90%, 10% for Phillips. At no real news that Phillips is back, so he's on as questionable, but I think he's likely injured. Cal McGregor, that's what he says in the tin. Matt Riley was absolutely superb. Brilliant and... Well, not brilliant. Um, <laughs> could beat 2-0, can't describe people as brilliant, but um, played well in fine order, I thought. Hattati wasn't sharp at all. Played pretty poorly, I would have thought, overall, but one thing to remember is that he played 30 minutes in the league game. Um, he played 60 minutes in fine order, and he's not completed the 90 minutes for the whole season at all. So, um, you know, how do you expect him to be sharp enough to play against um, good level Champions League players? So, I still think he'll start. Um, there is a chance he could, um, against Livingston, go with Turnbull and bring Hitati from the bench. But I'm hoping, hoping that he, he sees Hitati as the starter there and, and that that position settles down. Um, equally, you could you could see Turnbull and you could see Hitati coming on later. So, you know, I'm not completely certain. Um, Maeda, um, he stayed on the whole game. Um, I'm basing the ninety five percent on the fact that he's started. I think every game pretty much. So, um, there we go. And also, I don't think we've got really good options to replace him in there as well. Um, Furuhashi came off um a wee bit earlier. So when the when the red card came, he came off. So he didn't play the full game. So I don't really see any reason why we wouldn't start him. Um, Rogers isn't really a, a tinker man. I wouldn't have said. Um, Palma played. I'm 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 not that convinced in terms of how well he, he's done, but you know, Celtic fans are just seeing more of him now. It may well be a game where we need goals and he starts again. Um Yang I've got as thirty five percent. So, you know, if Palma starts, he probably starts on the left and dies in the right. And then we've got Yang. I don't think there's any other overwhelming selections there either. So so there we go. Um also my camera's frozen now, so don't ask me why that happened. So I'm going to cut here, and then we're going to go on to doing the lineup builder. Hello, the face. I'm back. Look, I'm moving. The camera's working. Don't ask me why that happens. I've absolutely no idea. So anyway, um, I don't think it's me. Sometimes I do think it's me because, you know, prone to pressing the wrong buttons and all that sort of stuff. But there we go. So um, firstly, um, look at how we're, we're not doing any better in <laughs> In the leaks, um, yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's it's strong overall, but um, you know, Messi's killed me a bit midweek. Um, at least we know he's injured, so that means that you know he's not going to be um playing at the weekend. So, so yeah, um, grand total of fifty here at the moment. <laughs> um, that's not going to be hard to beat. Um, and Messi was actually in the All Star Rare Pro. And um, what I'm going to do here is um. Going to build down a bit, um, see if we can, if we can hit some of the higher tournaments. Um, in terms of the reason for building down, if you've got unique cards, you've got super rare cards, then you know you there's only certain tournaments you can use some of these cards in. So, you know you you've kind of got to build down a bit if that makes sense. Um, so the interesting thing here is, um, Celtic I think are playing better. I've uh, got some nicer options this week. Um, Olage at home against Vitesse is a nice option. Um, Runerson hasn't been playing. Um, Joe Willis actually had a good game for once midweek, so that that's nice. So I think I might um might have a go at the All Star 
um, unique. So let, let's try and build it. Um, I think the interesting thing with this will have to be reviewed tomorrow. Liverpool are playing tonight. We'll need to see how they rotate, etc. Again, AZ playing midweek, but um, Sugawara, that's a great fixture against Swole. They've just come up, so there we go. The natural selection in here is going to be the Liverpool um, sort of stack here. Um, probably better filter than this, the unique at the moment. Eh? All star unique, although you can play um, another super rare here as well. So provisionally, I think I'll, I'll be going with something like this. Um, it's a Furu. Um, as I've said in the first part, Furuhashi came off a wee bit earlier because of the red card, so I would expect him to start. And then the last position is a bit tricky. Um, Larson's been rotated a bit after the European games, which is is a shame. Um, Phil Max not been firing, and Tanaka I really rate, but um, he's been starting on the bench the last couple of games for um, Fortuna, so you know. He, now Wayne scored with Japan <laughs> and then he's on the bench. So, you know, I could probably whack in a sort of um two forty unique um team there and just sort of fill this with a super rare. So let's have a go at, at that. Um Felipe has been a monster. Shanghai Port's pretty difficult game. and um, probably want to keep McGregor for um it's a Celtic ish stack. Um although yeah, I mean it's it's difficult as well because we're not really maxing out some of the lower divisions. Um Rostovsky I think is injured, so it feels as if all my big super rares are getting injured at the moment, so that's that's a bit frustrating. Um Hanny Mukhtar would traditionally go in with some sort of um, MLS cards and things there. Um I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm Feeling a bit crap, but I'm not really feeling the all star unique. Um, don't have anything running there as well, so I think what I'm going to do is sort of build down from the the other ones and then reconsider that once. Um, hopefully my head's working a bit better. So apologies. I know that's supposed to be high level strategy and all that sort of stuff. I'm I'm trying my best with my limited ability at the moment. Um, so yeah, I suppose this gives us this option. So when we when we go here, I mean, this would be one where I would stick with. If we actually get rotation, the advantage of this is Matt O'Reilly could come into sort of um under twenty three um super rare um contention or challenger um contention um and I can still go pretty strong in this tournament. Um, Canales, I think he came off injured as well. It's just ever, ever, like, all my best cards are injured. Like, <laughs> just feels like that. Max Arnold's away at um away at. Dortmund, so that's not the easiest of games. Um, we need to keep an eye on what, what's happening with um, Fenerbahce. So again, I know I've been a wee bit under the weather, but there's another reason for delaying these things as well, because you, it's hard when there's midweek games, you've got to kind of see um, how teams are lining up as well, you know, it's quite tempting to say, oh, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do that, and then you see the games and you think, oh, no, actually, that's not going to work. <laughs> um, so I guess I'm, just, I'm going to do what I'm going to do um, when I'm always sort of struggling here, always sort of go to the um so rare data and see what the see what the computer says. Like it's it maybe even just helps influence your decision. That's always a good thing. Um or gives you some ideas. So so yeah, when you're out of ideas, bounce your ideas off somebody else or something else. That's probably part of the advice. So Rostovsky's injured. Had Joe Hart been recommended? Bloody hell. <laughs> it's the first thing for everything. Um so Kokchu, um, interestingly, he would usually go in 23s, I guess, but I do have other options. So I could fill out the pro with um, you know, other types of options. Um, you know, um, I suppose I could do Tribune and Sil Antonio Silva in the defensive stack. Um, so up front, I think I'm not completely certain it's going to start. Um, bad is out. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Well, not interesting. Not interesting, it's just um, difficult in terms of the decision. Um, Hlozic might get some game time against Heidenheim after the European games, so that's one to keep an eye on as well. Um, Tete, come on, played really well, but it's not the forward card I've got. So looking at best forwards here, Saito's naturally going to go in the, um, the 23s, I think. So I've got, I've got to go Furu, and I've got Unique to use elsewhere, so that, that's good. And then... Um, kind of tip, the, one of the things I do re regret a wee bit is not having a Matt Riley super rare right so that would be 
that would have been lovely jubbly. Um, but if I'm using Cox in here, I can use Sugawara in the twenty threes pro or whatever. So you know, can go there. Um, and I guess Calmac I'd like to play as well, but he's probably going to be in the Celtic stack. Um, so who could go with Monfrey in here? This guy's been on really good form, so. You know, he's an interesting one. He's home against um, Quivelli, who aren't really very good, I don't think, either. Um, so that's quite interesting. Furuhashi might be a wee bit more of a frustrating game because it's Livingston on a difficult pitch. So I think probably game captain Monfrey. So, so there we go, bloody hell, we've picked a team. <laughs> You'll see him focusing on the all-star here. This is a specific strategy for me. Remember, if you're not in contention in the All-Star, then you're probably going to have to, um, or probably more beneficial to focus on something else because all the big guys with their big teams will be focusing on the All-Star because of the leaderboard. And then that might open up um, some stuff in the other um, sort of uh, regional um, competitions. So I think that's an important strategy point here is just not to just assume that what I'm doing is, is what everybody else should or will be doing. Um, All Star Rare Pro, so um, so you know it's kind of one of those. Do we do we run sort of Celtic here, or do we go with something more varied? Um, you know, again the 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 selections picking um Kochi and Sugawara here, who I probably what use a wee bit elsewhere. Um, I think Virgil Van Dyke's back as well, so that's interesting. Um, you know, so from that point of view, like could run like a sort of. Um, Liverpool stack, I guess West Ham are in Europe as well, so there's no real sort of advantage for West Ham in that they've not had a free midweek, so I kind of like that. Um, Man City at home against Nottingham Forest seems a pretty good fixture as well, um, so that's quite interesting too. Could drop down guys like Nick Ollage in here as well. Um, that's just that's what I do with the Celtic stacks, so you know, do we run them in here, do we run them in Challenger, and I think with all these options, we probably want to run them um in the challenger sphere to be honest so so yeah um i think i'm gonna um go with the recommendation here and, and go for ray because he's um quite um good at putting up um nice scores and also in addition to putting over up nice scores he also um has a high xp so that's good messy's out so that's a pain so let's give another review in terms of what's happening with who we want to pair here um, another interesting option is could go. Ah, that's a nice option actually. Could go Safanov and Junior Alonso because they've been very good actually, right? So I could go defensive stack, and then that would allow um to use some of the more powerful sort of rare outfield cards. So, so yeah, I think I probably do that because I'll be stacking a lot of Celtic um and Challenger. So that's that's interesting. Um, so then, you know, we've used one super rare here, so that's good. Um, so it allows us the choice of doing stuff like, you know, we just put in Joey Veerman, who's been, it's been outrageous. I guess there's a small risk of rotation there as well, right? So, you know, I think from that point of view, you know, just play the Arsenal, but yeah, I mean, there's no midweek, so, and he's not really missed any games at all. So I think you just got to go with him, right? The scores are just so high, like, yeah, it's just massive scores. Um, could go the, the the angle of um Fenerbahce in here as well. Talk of Tadic being rested, but we'll see that tonight. So if he if his minutes are managed, then that's quite encouraging actually. So you know if he he's managed, then he could be a captain pick in here. The good the good um reason for doing this is um that's that's obviously a, a reasonable game for Fenerbahce as well. But we do have like Ferdi and Spassi and Szymanski. So that that's pretty strong, and unless I hear any news for humans out, I think he's got to be captain. So so yeah, that that's an awesome team. I really like that actually. So, and you'll see um strategy wise as well because I know people are, I know people are um you know want to pick up some strategy putting in like small stacks or whatever is quite interesting. Again, my cameras went to ski with, so um yeah. I'm going to um, cut this again and then we'll go on to part three after I fix my camera again. I don't know why that's happening. Part three, guys, I've decided I'm going to put my foot right through the laptop camera if it keeps doing this stuff. So what we've decided to do is just do it without you getting to see my beautiful face with the, um, the specs and everything. You know, I'm very sorry to anybody that was expecting the 3D specs. My apologies. Um, given we're having gremlins as well, I think I'm going to pick some limited teams, make it a bit more 
relevant hopefully for most people who watch and then once we've done that we're just going to call it a day because I've got about 55 cuts to make now and that is not something I'm very good at either so there we go so on to the all-star limited some enthusiasm come on we don't give up guys never give up right um suggest a line up here so interesting to see what the computer says here Oh, it's taking its time. That's interesting. Joe Hart suggested as well. So it's nice to see Joe Hart being a suggestion again. I'm not going to lie there. Um, not um, Man City stack, pretty favourable at home as well. Um, I think I'm probably going to want to run a City stack here, actually. I guess the only issue is good old Pep Roulette. Um, Bernardo Silva injured as well. So I think that that um, brings into the reckoning some interesting sort of choices here too um, in terms of the midfield. So so we start off with Ederson and um, pretty high XP as well. So that's an advantage unless anyone's gone daft building a stack um already. Um Rodrigo has been absolutely brilliant and he doesn't um touch wood tend to be ro rotated. So I just don't really kind of see how you can leave him out. Um I think in terms of the extra position you know, you've got choices like Fodden, and I don't, I don't think I carry a Doku, actually. I don't, yeah, give me two seconds. I think I've got a Doku Rare, but don't have a Doku Limited, so that's maybe something I've got to tidy up with new cards and all that sort of stuff as well. Um, But, yeah, I mean, Phil Fodden, well capable of the big score. He's had a wee bit of rotation, so that might suggest that he's um he's going to be all right and he's going to play. Um, Defence-wise, you know, there's a bit of rotation there too, but he does tend to stick with... Um, Ruben Diaz, which means he'll probably rotate him now. Uh, so I'll keep an eye on that sort of play sharper selection as well. And then um, up front, it's a case of do we pick the man who just seems to want to miss every big chance at the moment in Haaland or do we pick Alvarez? Um, Pep has said that Alvarez is undroppable, so I'm not going to play him. <laughs> So there we go. Um, Selection-wise, I think probably a wee bit of a differential in here. I don't know if many people will captain Fodden. Um, so, you know, there'll be a lot of Rodrigo captainers, but he doesn't always get a huge amount of decisive. So there we go. Um, we'll be a bit more topical. Well, not topical. That's the wrong word. And um, we'll go back on to sort of trend in terms of 23s because that's a, a one that people really love and enjoy and then maybe we'll pick a wee cap team as well and then I'll go on to doing my editing. So under 23s, um, you know, pretty competitive as well. But I, I, I think um this is one where, you know, we've lost like Mbappes and Veermans and everything. So, you know, high scores and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, I, I don't think it's too mad. I think it's kind of... um. To be expected as well, if that makes sense. Um, so my 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 usual favourites here are Duf. Um, Trubin's an interesting one. Um, after the mistake, but I think um you'll be you know they'll stick by him now. Mesley is coming into contention. Uh, playing very well the last couple of games. And where is Duf? Does he not get a game? For yeah, right. So it must be Franz Cup or something this weekend. I don't. Uh, PSG. So why is he not showing up? That's unusual. All right, Reams play on Tuesday, so that would explain that. I, th I think I'm going to go with Mesley, actually. Um, it's just been really good the last couple of games and, you know, kept a clean sheet with um, 10 men as well, which was, was quite interesting. Um, Defence-wise, Sergio Gomez got a start midweek, but I would imagine that... Um, Man City's probably back to um, sort of likes of Gavardiol, etc. Um, Schlotterbeck has been playing, so that's good. Um, one of my, my usual favourites, to be honest, um, Schlotterbeck. Um, Saliba's been good, but I, I think that's going to be an interesting derby because um, Ange teams do score a lot of goals, right? So it's a home game and all that, but yeah, I mean, you, you, uh, it's hard to see. Arsenal keeping a clean sheet, I think, there. Um, very impressive midweek, there's no doubt about that. So we'd be kind of lacking good options here. That's, um, well, not options, but um, players with um, good games, etc. I think we'll probably go for um, Schlotterbeck at home, um, just, just based on the fixture. Um, 
Matt O'Reilly, interesting. So the high XP one's probably going to go in the Celtic Challenger stack there, um, you'd imagine. And um, there's a wee bit of talk of Saka carrying an injury, etc. But um, he looked pretty good midweek, so I think he's got a he's got a go in. Um, Spurs have been good, but you know, uh, as a way Arsenal and Arsenal are you know playing pretty well, so uh, you've got to take that into account. Um, Shirky, I, I I love picking. You know, look at this nice high average. Um, Leon have just been a bit rubbish, but that's that's the overall. Um, sort of issue here. Um, so, ah, yeah, so Alvarez, yeah. So, so I guess um, if he does a hundred again, I'm gonna be a bit annoyed and not put him in the Man City stack. Depending on what else happens there, but there we go. Um, and Austin have not been that good this season as well. So you know, putting away at Austin's pretty tempting, but I think I'm gonna go with Matt Riley. Just um, he's just been so good this season. And uh, just been so such a good player and um and pretty certain to start as well. I would have thought. I don't think Roger's gonna mess about with that um with no midweek game. And I'm gonna back him and go for the captain. Um, I guess we we'll, we we should actually why don't we just pick the Celtic team because you know that's that's something we've been talking about with play sharper. So Celtic wise, um. I'm going to go for this in the challenger. I think I'm just going to, um, we've used the Man City stack in the All-Star, so, um, and then we'll probably play the Caps with them as well, but I'm not going to record that here. So, Joe Hart, um, at the moment, Vickers out is kind of killing me a bit, um, so that's a shame. I think we're probably going to take a chance in the Hattati Defender card. A lot of people will, um, you know, kind of maybe avoid Rio because of the percentage and everything, but I'm just going for peak score here, you know, like, Going for whatever's going to be the potentially highest score. Matt O'Reilly, um, nice high average. Um, and I've just talked about him, so I don't need to talk about him anymore. Furuhashi, and look at the XP on these as well. I mean, that's pretty huge XP. Um, and then, you know, McGregor's been um, kind of on and off a bit more recently, but, you know, in the domestic games, he's been scoring really well. And I think, um, although this might be a popular team as well, um, my XP is going to carry me quite high up there as well. And just, you know, set piece taker. Turnbull seems to have been a wee bit more out of favour now as well. So O'Reilly plays and Hattati starts then. Um, Matt's on like, all the sets as well, which is interesting. So so there's that. So um, get to the, the end of this. Um, you can't see me pointing up now, but I'm going to put the link to the October giveaway up as well because I've still got another nine days before October, but remember, we'll pick one winner for every game week. So you, if you watch this video in October or you watch the October giveaway in October, you can still um, qualify for that and you can still win. You'll get to pick the all-star team. You get to keep anything. And if you get the top four scores and we get something in the leaderboard, you'll be in the hat for the leaderboard prize, which is quite quite cool, I think, because up top there's stuff like star rares and everything to win as well. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sorry about the technological issues and I'm sorry for my lack of enthusiasm being a bit under the weather the next couple of days, but we keep fighting, we keep trying to win, keep moving forward and good luck and go fuck.